And on the back, I also want to point out the contrast between this kind of caramel color of these straps and the red. That's a really, really pretty combination there as well. You have that same caramel color on both side pockets. And then on the inside, you guys, it's a slip pocket as expected. And then you have all of these different images of Grumpy there on the inside. So really cute, love this bag a lot. Uh, this is one, like I said, that I have taken to the park and it's a really great park bag just because of the size of it. And it also has the potential <laughs> to get you a lot of conversation everyone wants to know where you got this guy from so again this is my grumpy bag my favorite dwarf out of the seven dwarfs the next bag i have for you guys is dopey dopey was the second dwarf added to my collection and as you can see he has the cutest little face there and my favorite color, that purple hat he always wears. And he has this huge bag charm. You see that diamond there dangling in the front? Um, that is his bag charm. So guys, as you know, there's a pocket right there if there's a bag charm. I just don't know how in the world you would get in there. I would never attempt it, but it is there if you need it. It also has this really pretty lavender colored plaque here the Disney Lounge Black Plaque. And this one shows some patchwork here. So it's like this added um, textured piece, um, almost like a little applique there on the side. On the back of this one, you also have a picture of Snow White giving Dopey a kiss, but of course he receives it a little bit better than Grumpy. <laughs> And back to the front, you guys, while I have a close-up here, you see his eyes are all embroidered in all these different colors here. And so really pretty gives him a lot of dimension and character right there on the front. The color combination on this bag, guys, is really nice. This green and purple um, there. You have the gold color from his bag charm and his belt. The gold on the hardware. It is a really pretty color combination on this bag and on the inside of this one we have everybody in the party so this one has um different images of all of the guys there so really pretty bag um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this bag is still on sale at Circle of Hope. So if you're interested in this one, you might want to run over there and check that out. I would imagine that if you have anyone that um, intends on going for this entire collection, once the rest of the bag start dropping, Dopey may be a little bit harder to get. I know this is probably his second or third run. And I feel like... Um, when I saw Circle of Hope on Mickey's Girls, um, they said that they were not they were not doing another run of this bag. So I think when whatever they have in stock is gone, that's it. So don't quote me on that, but I feel like that's what I heard. So if you're interested in Dopey, go over there to Circle of Hope and check him out. My most recently added dwarf to our collection is this guy here, Doc. Now, Doc, I was not prepared to receive. I was under the impression that Sleepy was coming out first, and you guys have had a lot to say about Sleepy. <laughs> I'll insert a picture of Sleepy so you know what I'm talking about. Um, some of you guys feel like he just looks a little bit out of it because of the way his eyes look, but I really feel like it's just the way that they took the picture. But I will be sure to let you guys know because I will be ordering him what he looks like and hopefully all right but this guy here we have right in our hands so this is our friend doc and doc has um the softest beard you guys i have ever felt it is that same furry or fuzzy whichever word you prefer material that we typically have it's super soft almost feels feathery um like it, it feels really good the only concern i have is if this gets dirty like how would you clean that so i think you would have to be extra careful with this bag but it is a really 
gorgeous bag and I will be taking him to the park and taking my chances with him. So on this one, he also has um, embroidery in his eyes, in his eyebrows and in his eyes there, if you see that. And then he has the this plastic coating over his glasses where you can see there in the, in the camera where it looks like he actually has real lenses. So really cute details there. He's this pretty orange color and his plaque is almost a pumpkin color. So it's a dark, um, like a burnt orange, if you will, color. So really pretty. Um, his pockets on both sides have the yellow trimming that is the same as the straps here that you can see. And of course you have the pockets on both sides of the bag. And here you guys, I love his back hit because it has everybody in it. So this one, you guys, was a lounge fly exclusive. And so what I'm wondering is, are the rest of the dwarf bags going to be lounge fly exclusives? Because as you know, Sleepy is as well. And so does that mean none of the other small shops like Circle of Hope um, if they will be excluded from selling the remainder of the bags if they push them all out because I haven't seen anything that said officially that they're all being released but at the rate we're going it really looks like it so what do you guys think about that you think Loungefly will kind of hold on to this um, collection for themselves or do you think they'll share the wealth a little bit with our small shop all right everybody so I have one last bag that I want to share with you today and that bag is this exclusive evil queen bag that i received from sapphire sky boutique now i did pick this bag up during the halloween season but i love this bag so much i just left it out um throughout the rest of the year to go along with my snow white collection so as you can see we have that huge applique there on the front of the evil queen and her hat form she has her poison apple poised and ready to do some damage and I love, guys, you see that shadow in the background? I just love that. Um, you also have that same brick detailing that is on the sides of the bag. And this cauldron, guys, this cauldron here on the bottom, it is huge and it has an amazing glow effect. I'll insert a video that I previously recorded of um, this bag so that you can see that in action. And then you also have these little appliques here at the bottom of the bag that are really nice. And this bag charm, you guys, has to be one of my favorites there of the mirror. I just love that image in there. There's a beautiful zipper pull there. On the side, you have that same brick design I just spoke about. And this pretty gray Disney lounge fly plaque. On the other pocket, you have the brick extended there, and you have the raven there on the side. So love that. So you got a lot of um, characters that are a huge part of the movie, but you don't see that often on bags. So I really love that you get all of those details in this bag. And the back hit, you guys, says one bite and all of your dreams will come true and that's all embroidered so hopefully you all can see that so uh, that's another again a great detail on this bag and um the reason that i picked this bag up as well is because the small shop sapphire sky boutique has advised that once all of these bags sell out this bag will be retired and so I like it when we know we have a limited edition and we know that it will remain <laughs> a limited edition. <laughs> so they have definitely stated that once it's gone, that's it. It is still available on their website, Sapphire Sky Boutique. So if you're interested in this bag, go and check it out. Um, the last thing we'll review on here is this gold hardware. And on the inside, guys, they gave us everything we like on this bag. It does have a inside zipper. And then look at the detail. It says one bite has the poison apple in the crown there. So really 
pretty inside and gotta love the purple so you guys this definitely is a good bag to have if you're a snow white collector or if you need another good halloween bag you could do a lot of cosplay with this you could do a lot of bounding with this definitely a good um bag to add to your collection all right everybody i think that's gonna do it for our video today um i do have one other thing if you haven't seen my largest funko video that i recently recorded i'll add a link to it in this video um go and check that out because it does have the 100th anniversary snow white poster funko in that video and that is another addition to my snow white collection that i didn't put in this one because i recently recorded it so go check that video out and guys we will definitely see you all here in the near future i really appreciate everybody for stopping by and we'll see you all in the next video bye y'all